absolutely hates doing live down here, so I'm wanting to spin this round so you don't have to look at my face at this time in the morning. There we go. Here's all the boxes of cutlery that were cleaned out. There's a microwave underneath here. This is all back up and operational, and believe it or not, Janine brought aluminium polish and polished it. Um, other bits and pieces were, that were in here were stored in the G-Tent. I don't know if this is where they keep the children, but hey, there's one of those over there. Uh, it's just been, it was such a super, super amount of work. And there was one lady who I'll post about later. Um, there was a, um, a hand sanitizer unit on here. There was a bit hanging on here. And as I was painting and I'm like, oh gosh, I'm gonna have to move this. She went, I got it. She came in, she removed it. Um, and then she couldn't get it quite fully finished off. So a gentleman came over and he helped as well. And then I came around the corner and I was painting on here. I was like, oh, hang on a minute. And she's like, I got it. Everybody's just got it. They just jump on it. They just do it. It's absolutely unbelievable. So there was a whole team working away over here. This is our entrance. Uh, this is our entrance to uh, the state forest back here. And <laughs> it likes to grow weeds and snakes. That's all it does. Weeds and snakes. Um, and it... The footing is quite difficult, so <laughs> they cleaned it up, and uh, the chickens are, they had a, they had a, didn't you just watch all the people yesterday, didn't you just do that, you were fantastic, hello Bartholomew, how are you sweet pea, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, you little monkeys, I'm just going right here, so they've cleared all this up and this place just, it was just like a jungle. And you know, it had actually been cleared up um, uh, very early spring, but this is the area. It goes all the way up here and it allows us to connect into the state forest, which is absolutely fantastic because we can take the donkeys up. Look, you can see where the deer have been. If it's not the deer, it's the goats. It better be deer. So it goes up here and I have to shut this back over because this keeps the perimeter of the farm totally and utterly secure. So this needs to come back. Oh, it's very high tech this. <laughs> so this part here, there's paths. We take the donkeys out, there's bridges so they can be trained to go over water. And it's just, it's just the most fantastic experience for them. It's lovely for free, for people to come and uh, and walk with them and get the full, the full experience. And that's when people realise they either want to work with the donkeys or they don't. Um, it's just, we're so very, very lucky, and we're so very, very covered in poison ivy as well. But hey, so this is the back of the um, Donkey Hill way back up here and we were very lucky because the gentleman who was um, was actually working here coming back again chickens there's um, I don't want to mention the snake word but in this area hi babies in this little wood pile here there was about 25 snakes the problem with back here is it was all long grass and the snakes just slid they slither over to the next uh, patch here or they wander on over into the next bit of grass. So as he was tracking them, they were going all the way over here into the long grass there. Um, he did very kindly go in and strim that. So we were hoping we had pushed the snakes that way past the ice house and, and that way because uh, there was rather a lot of them. <laughs> so... The other wonderful, the, you know, people just picked up tools and went and did things that they saw that were needing to be sorted out, that they were needing to be lifted. Now we've gone into the shade, so this is tricky. Coming over here, they cut all the grass here, which was wonderful. 
So it's all beautifully trimmed. We did see somebody having a little shot on the swing as well. So that's wonderful. I'm going to spin back this way so we don't get the person that's working with the service dogs in. Um, we had, now this tractor that we had fixed, the tractor just it gave up the ghost after the first load of manure. I have no idea what's going on with the tractor. There we had people in trying to fix it. Um, there's a, a shout going out to Teamsters to see whether or not there's anybody who's got more experience with tractors. And uh, we'll wait and see what happens. So we've got a good portion of this back. Now remember, we're working on this with the smaller trailer, so we've got less capacity. So we got two loads done yesterday and um, he's going to come back on Wednesday, which is very exciting, and load a few more up for us so we can just keep it ticking on over. This is all the, the little details that keep the farm running, keep the farm going in the way that it should, but honestly, it's just constant because animals poop all the blinking time. So, to have this sort of help, is absolutely phenomenal and we are so appreciative so that so the gentleman it wasn't even a case of he jumped in the tractor and loaded the trailer up the trailer had to be emptied because it had stone dust in it and then uh, so once they'd emptied that he then had to try and get the tractor going the tractor was um, a bit spluttery uh, he started moving manure for us that was out in the paddocks because I think as everybody knows this area floods quite badly um, it's impossible to get things moving until everything dries out and it's beginning to dry to dry out um, so he moved all that and then started working on the, the manure pile he's an exceptionally brave man and we very greatly appreciate his help uh, it's a long process uh, and then the tractor died after the first load so we worked out that if we gave the tractor a little sleep for about an hour <laughs> it decided to work again no idea what's going on there so we gave it a little sleep for an hour and he just kept um loading loading the trailer giving the tractor a rest and going back and loading some more so we managed to get two loads out and uh, and hopefully on Wednesday we'll get, you know, another good indent. This is all just, it's progress. It's progress we need to be making. And the help is so much appreciated. So I'm going to take a wee wander into the barn. Now, you will realise that everything keeps um, opening and closing and, and drawing down. So, in Miss Harley Barley's barn, oh my goodness, look at your beautiful floor, and your beautiful foe, and your beautiful self. Hello, my darling. Hello, my darling. You, did you do all that poop overnight? Oh, you've got Delight. Morning, Miss Delightful. She's like, whatever. I'm waiting for dinner. <laughs> Breakfast, even. So... This is an absolutely horrible job and I was embarrassed to ask anyone to do it. They lifted the mats and they... So I've had to come back outside because it just doesn't like being inside. So under the mats in the main stall, um, I don't know if, if you, you notice on video, on the on the cameras, but the mats kind of like have uh, formed peaks that are exceptionally easy to trip over. Um, it makes it very difficult to keep clean, and it's just general wear and tear. They, you know, they eventually slip. They eventually move out of position. So. A very brave team came in yesterday. They lifted the mats. They re-leveled the area underneath, which is really stone dust and earth. And then they relayed the mats. And that's a job that we've been wanting to do for quite some time. It's just wonderful to get that started. Um, the stall at the back we will work on ourselves. It's a, a smaller stall. These mats are extremely heavy and cumbersome because they don't actually, um, they don't bend. <laughs> so they're, so they're really, uh, lent us her mat grippers and, uh, and those, those mat grippers are essential because your fingers, your, the joints in your fingers get so sore when you're actually trying to, to lift the blinking things. Um, 
they just don't play the game. It's like the the mats work against you. So so we're very um we're very grateful to all that help and for getting that stall um just sorted out because it, it it's it's the silly things like this that make the day to day management of <coughs> the animals far easier, far more efficient, and and that goes. A, that frees people up to do, you know, other jobs on the farm. So I'm coming back in here because I'm going to show you this pond because Leslie went pond dipping, but fortunately didn't go in herself. Here is our phenomenal tractor. Oh, oh, there's a post we're still trying. Just how deep down these blinking things are. And you can see the, the way that they've just degraded over the years, you know, all the this here, you know, it's all, uh, excuse me, get that head back in, there be a goat, I'm going to go and put the rock, oh my gosh, they've opened the thing, you're terrible, I think our goat defences are needing shored up somehow, oh, terrible things, goats, well, not the white ones, we love the white ones, this lot are so naughty, but they're good for the comedy value. Right, so coming back and into here, and you can see where the, oh, this pond has arisen. We've got, I think this year we've just become hot far sooner than we expected. Um, we've had more rain than we expected. Everything's been a bit, a bit out of, uh, out of sync. So the pond has the most phenomenal green scum in it, and I, you can hardly see it because the blinking sunshine is on it. Um, it's kind of thick with growing algae. That's what we're um, experiencing here. We're, we're we're doing a phenomenal job at growing the algae. So we've put in a biological uh, retardant. We hope. Uh, Leslie went in yesterday. She was exceptionally brave. She just wadered up uh, and got in, and she pranced right round that pond in a very efficient fashion. Uh, this is going to hopefully contain the algae, limit it, which means that when we come over into the next pond, which is clear for the moment, it um, it shouldn't be taking all its algae because algae, as we know. It likes friends and it grows and it multiplies and then we've got a real problem. So this pond here, which is technically the overflow pond, uh, it feeds into our larger pond and we just want to keep this as clean as possible. So we will see how this goes. Um, if it works, that's absolutely fantastic. If it doesn't, we'll come back to plan B and <laughs> it might be, we might have to put Janine in and uh, skim the top of it. So. I'm going to go and show you, and I know this is long and convoluted, but I really feel we have to acknowledge all the phenomenal work that these people came and, and, and volunteered to do because it's made such a difference to what we are able to do, what we are able to focus on. You can see, so this is this back side of the tea tent, and the reason it was stripped out of all of the bits that were along here is so that when people we've got our first we had um we had a, a wonderful lady her grandson and her daughter come yesterday to celebrate their birthday and this is a long-term camera person or should i say camera people and they came yesterday so they were our very first visitors on tuesday we have a massive <laughs> team of people coming from uh, one of the uh, the places that we visit and our aim here has always to be and this has been all stained and cleaned etc etc is to have this area here people being able to come in here and have lunch at the tables and the animals being out on this side here securely and that's why everything has been moved from along this wall and it's so people can, you know, you can feel that you come in and you share the time with the animals without actually having, let's face it, it will be the white goats, without actually having them on top of you. And we all know the white goats like to be on top of you, especially if you're eating. Right, I'm going to take you up quickly to see our main pond. And I'm probably going to connection several times. Here we go. So, not only did... Leslie and the Teamsters take care of our overflow pond. 
they went round and they started clearing the pathway and the grass and all the overhanging areas for the main pond because let's face it when you're walking around with people <laughs> and, you, and you're watching your feet so that you know these are people with um disabilities and uh, and myself and Janine and we have to watch you know you watch where you're going you know you trip over things etc etc well they came in and did the absolutely most fast fabulous job of clearing it so making sure that we're limiting the um, trippability factor so people wouldn't normally come in this way because this is Nick's rock collection he's still got to come and get <sighs> so everything was just cleared up any overhanging branches were taken down and we did this pond as well which looks like it's gone a bit bubbly we'll have to have a wee looky see at this I'm wondering if we've aerated it really 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 well because we've got bubbles bubbles excellent that will be interesting to see it's obviously not putting the hair in off though Right, so this area here, there's Annie's bent and Pam's Pam's area that we've, we've still to name for both of them. Um, it's all just been cleared. And look, there's stripes on the grass again. We're never going to get those stripes back. But anyway, this area has all been cleared. Um, we're hoping, you know, this is stage one. We're hoping to take out all these great big prickly things that make sticky things that stick to dogs, horses and people um, and plant in here. So that there's a nice, you know, a sloped bed. It will be absolutely fantastic. Coming around here, this area has all been tidied up. We had overhanging branches. We had uh, things that wanted to try and poke you in the eye. Um, and they came round with, with clippers, with saws, with oh, just whatever they could get their hands on and they tidied it all up. And our path is open, so our path is wide enough for the golf cart, the rickshaw, whenever it, it's, um, it's available. It's proving to be very, very difficult to maintain that rickshaw. This area has been taken back. This area here they came in and this is where we'd really like to put stone dust down we'll scrape this with the tractor to the side stone dust it because this gets really quite lumpy and i'm sorry this is so intermittent it's good for everybody just to go round about the horses the mules the donkeys carlene anybody visiting you can see the water back in here all well, that beautiful sunlight glistening in it so here we are back here and this just keeps us open and it keeps us it keeps us moving and it's so greatly appreciated so I am quite sure I have probably missed out bits and pieces of the work that was done yesterday it will occur to me I'm hoping to write a post so we can you know just identify all the hard work that went in and you know it gives us a, it gives us a <coughs> and a written record and it, it's nice to chart the progress it's nice to work out the things that you know can and can't oh yeah the reason we need to get the algae is because you're quite right um jen the the algae you never know what's growing in it it's not blue green algae at this precise moment in time but it also kills off the oxygen levels in our our ponds so we have to get on top of it and we have to keep it as clear as possible because yes the dogs go in it and um, the herons in it then we've got snakes we've got frogs so we just want it, it kept as healthy as possible so so this is um this is why we're we're trying really hard <laughs> it's a really complex job but what I was saying was that um, it's important to, to document this because so many people have willingly and happily given their time and we appreciate it so much. It takes so much pressure off us and it just helps us moving forward. And I, I think sometimes when you feel that you're, you're in this alone 
and you've got a phenomenal support network online which is absolutely wonderful when the, you come to the manual work that's down here it can become quite overwhelming and that's why it was so lovely to see so many people giving up their Saturday morning into the afternoon it was amazing and they just kept coming it was uh, it was super so our mail hut you might have noticed is missing the gazebo is still there we've got a bit of maintenance to do in the gazebo because quite frankly <laughs> the gazebo took the hit for my car and uh, a branch came down from one of these stunners up here and uh, <laughs> it hit here took out the corner of the gazebo and missed my car which was oh, thank you gazebo that was much appreciated so our mail hut is missing and I'll show you where it is if I can get all the way down here without losing connection <sighs> And the mail hut's not quite finished because it has to have some struts removed from the bottom so that it sits flat. So we're going down the driveway. <sighs> Chickens are out somewhere up there and down here. Hello, boobos. How are you? So Wallace and um, Bruno, they repaired. Remember there was a great big gap there? So they've repaired here, so we're able to get the chickens down into this area. And there's just a little bit more repair to the fencing back here before we can let them down. So, here we are. Just got a bit more to be finished off for it to be able to sit flat. This, um, this bit here needs to be removed and then it will actually slot back in. So that will be great. Hello, Noodles! Hello, Julius. Those are my babies. Hello. Oh, and there's my troublemakers. Hello, Junie. Where's Juniper? Where's Annie? Oh, there's Gracie. Hey, Gracie. Annie must be somewhere. Oh, Annie. Come on, my love. I can see her ears. Um. I'd really like to put the chickens out in there because they eat all this undergrowth, which is fabulous. This lot are all the way down here, being silly billies. So, there you go. That concludes our tour for the day. Um, lots to see, lots to do. It's very exciting. So, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. We have a very special lunch coming in. And we... That will be um, around the middle of the day. We've got lots of work that we're going to just keep picking away at. And some people out walking a donkey. So it's busy, busy, busy. Oh, the gate. Right, Joe. <laughs> so, oh yeah, I should show you this because this is what we've been working on as well. Straight ahead where the cone is. Um, this is where we've removed the fencing so this fencing this is the cemetery field just in here you can see the benches etc etc um, we've taken the fencing out the fencing as you can see I'll show you the fencing um, that we've actually had to remove it was slowly but surely sliding down the hill believe it or not so here's the electrics for the gate and the beautifully strung cable mm -hmm. so this is the fencing right and I'm standing this way it's, um, yeah, it's not really making it any longer. Uh, so we have to take, this is the gate. It's a great gate. And it joins up with this gate here. And we put some plants up to try and make it look welcoming, but please think about it. Um, so the gates here joins on with this guy here, which will close. And then it allows, you know, as few vehicles eventually as possible and this is the fence that we've been having to remove we'll have to replace it's just slowly but sure this is just fencing this has been in for a few decades you know um it's what it does i mean there's even a tree growing through this fence post it, it's not secure 
it uh, doesn't hold anything in, especially horned goats, I can tell you. So it comes all the way down into here, and it's just an absolute mess. And we've got these blinking things, well there's nettles there, and these blinking things that we're going to have to dig out, but I think I might dig them out when they start dying back, because they're very prickly and they give burrs. Blah. So lots of lots of work to be done and you know we can't achieve it all in the in the, the summer months and um, we just have to keep working at it so i should go up and see if carlene's up actually that would sort her just keep wittering on so this area here what we would like to do is we would like to plant up around about the gazebo. There is actually a path here. So I would like to put my hydrangeas into into here just to, you know, just to just to tidy it all up and, and make it look a bit more presentable and less grass to cut. Um, that's always, always a plus. I'll go and knock on the door and see if she's available for visitors. And golf cart is plugged in, that's good. Because we'll need that. Oh, hold on. Hello, Larky. Are you decent? Are you decent? Can I come in with the camera? She has her rollers in. Woo, get back. She's as decent as she ever is. Good morning. I just set out the daily dog. Oh, well done, well done. I was coming to check up on that. This very minute. No, I wasn't. Okay. Was I, curl in my hair? Yes, well, we know we're getting ready for the day. Yes. Um, well, I don't like old ladies with flat hair. Yeah, we know that. Yes. Okay. So we've just done a little tour of all the work that was done yesterday. Oh, I'm thrilled. Yes. Thrilled. Amazing. I'm going to go down there and enjoy it now. I know. I know. How can I, how can I involve it with something to eat? Because there's lunch coming. Betty is sending you lunch today. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Oh, great. oh dear. Because so I really was hard pressed for supper last night. I had to eat breakfast. Oh. I had McDonald's leftovers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't eat. I was fine. <laughs> I didn't starve. No, well that's okay. So Betty is sending a delicious lunch. Yes. And then we've got some people coming to share it with us. That you know the people who work on the oh, farm. That's terrific. So that's exciting. How did we manage to get that camera person here yesterday? The the Teamster person. Which yeah. camera person? There was only one, wasn't there? The one that bought her mother and, and son? Oh that ca I thought you meant I'm paranoid at the moment. I thought you meant there was a reporter here. I was like, no, 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 not a, not, not that I saw. Yes. Wasn't that fun? She came for her birthday. That was so lovely. I know. We need to encourage that more. Yes. I mean, we have tables now. And even if we don't, we'll find a way to sit down. Yes. And I've Get got... yourselves up here. And there's people from the Teamsters who are going to come back and work with the donkeys. That's true. And... I'm going to, I'm going to encourage these people to bring cake yes. like that lady. Oh, a cake. Right. Okay. So, so there's, there's no... There's no, no admission charge. Cake is always appreciated. That's true. <laughs> well, I burned up my supper trying to heat up. Oh, have you I been? I tried to heat up some little round potato balls. Uh huh. And I blew the fuse. Oh gosh. And then he had Mike had to come over, and when he came over, he brought me this ice cream cone that. BJ sells? Have you can run into this? No. Oh. Was it good? That's my second one. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's good ice cream and it's all topped in, in chocolate. Oh, nothing wrong with that. And it's not a, it's not a, you know, it's a cold. Yeah, well, it makes for easy eating. Yes. Easy oh, eating. Actually, it's the second one I had. Look at this and pair. She's cleaning his ears. No, she's not. <laughs> so I'm, I'm also, well, now I'll concentrate on her food. Yes. So sustenance. Sustenance. You'll 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 be fine. And I can I can get on regular clothes. Yes, because you're going outside the door. Instead of the table, but all the food will be down there, right? Yes, it will. You're not going to hide any with any other place. No, no, and um, we're not sharing sharing it with uh, animals, so you're fine. Right. Well, not that we know of. I'm sure if Wanda turns up, she'll have some. 
no, wait, like, Arky, I don't need my good morning. Look at your blood sugar problems. <laughs> Nice to see you in the morning. <laughs> yes. So we will go and we will reconvene at lunchtime. What happened on last night's cake? Oh, I've got last night's cake. You have it? I think I've got it, unless a dog ate it. I put it in the microwave. So I will bring that over as well. We can take that. Do you want to make sure we don't lose it? Do you want to take it down for lunch? At lunchtime? Good. We could, because there's a lot of it. Well, that's the thing. So things like that are trying to end up in a closet somewhere. Yes. So that's or what happens is I hide everything in the microwave. One of my children comes home um, and um, and they open the microwave, take the cake out, leave it in the surface, and Arlo eats it without fail. Honestly, that dog. Well, anyway, we need to improve our system. Okay, yes. On that one. Yes. But no, the place looks great. The floor is going to be the floor cut. The grass is cut. It's beautiful. I've just taken everybody for a walk round about, and it was, it's just... Did they do the pond area too? They did do the pond area. Wow. They did. And I, and... The only thing that's worrying me is that I think it was Mike that was operating the, the, the mower. He did stripes. How are we supposed to maintain stripes in the grass? I love the, stri the stripes that I like. Yes. Was when I come to the driveway and you can see stripes all the way to the, the arena. Yeah. You know, with nothing, yeah. no concrete, no, no. No, no kennels, no nothing. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's getting there. Get there. And uh, Actually, when I, oh, oh. you want to shut that off? Yes, I will. Right. Goodbye, everybody. We'll we'll reconvene later.